Welcome to your 45 minute gentle vinyasa flow. This is a changing of the season to four. So it's all about slowing it down. We're going to do continuous slow vinyasa flow today. So we're just going to really move slowly. Imagine that when you're raising your hands up, you only touch us the top when you have finished your breath. So it's really slow movement. And rather than this, we we'll really stretch it out and slow down. So it's really the spirit. Vinyasa stand for a synchronization of movement and breath. And today, this is what we're going for. So sit in cross-legged position, grab your butt cheek out, hands on your knees. We're going to inhale, bring the shoulders towards the ears. Exhale, open up the chest and push the shoulder blades down. Inhale, shoulders towards the ears. Exhale, open your heart and settling onto the mat. One more time, bring the shoulders towards the ears and open up the heart. Spine tall and straight and gently closing your eyes. Yogic breath to lengthen out, inhale and exhale. We're going to inhale, expand the belly, expand the chest. Exhale, contract the belly, contract the chest to push all the air up. Inhale, expand. Exhale, contract. Inhale, expand for two, three, four. Exhale, contract for two, three, four. Slow down your breath on your own pace. Keep breathing in and breathing out. Longer breath for five count. Last big breath in and big breath out. Intention setting. Set an intention for the class today. In what aspect of your life do you need to take it slow? or slowing it down. With your intention in mind, sitting in stillness, we are going to sing three on to start the class. Deep inhale into the valley. Oh. Second, deep inhale into the valley. Oh. Third, deep inhale into the valley. Gently open up your eyes with minimal movement. Come to your tabletop position. You're welcome to move your body and listen to it. But try 
to minimize the movement, only move the body parts that you really need to move. We are going to come to a cat cow to warm up our body. Internal rotation of our elbow, rotate the elbows forward. Inhale, arch our back. Open our chest, lift by our chin, look up. Exhale, curl from your neck, upper back, mid back, lower back, chin towards the chest, pull the belly button in, tuck the toes. Inhale, arch your back, look up towards the sky with your chin, slow down your movement. Exhale, curl from the neck, upper back, mid back, lower back, belly button towards the spine, chin towards the chest. Inhale, arch your back, open up the chest, lift by the chin, Look up towards the sky. Exhale, crawl from your neck, upper back, mid back, pull belly button in, and lower back, pull the pelvis in, chin towards the chest. On your own breath, slow down the movement more deeply. Inhale. And deeply exhale. Slow it down more. Keep moving. The more we can slow down our breath, the more we can slow down our mind. It's much harder to try to move slow than moving quickly. Appreciate yourself when you can slow down. One more in. And out. Open up your knees to mat with this in the part. Toes together, we're coming to child pose. If you want to go deeper, grab the calf, roll the calf on the outside before you sit down. Tip your fingers on the mat and stretch your body forward. Three breaths. Deeply inhale for two, three, four. Exhale for two. Three, four, deeply in, and deeply out. One more in, stretch lower back, your hips more, and exhale. We are coming to side torso opening. Walk your fingertips up. Walk to the left hand side of the mat. Pull the belly button in, 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 then put it onto the thighs. Jane, come up again and reset yourself. Stretch just the left hand away. Sorry, right hand away. Push your right side down. Deeply inhale for two, three, four. Exhale for two, three, four. Inhale for two, three, four. Exhale for four, feeling the right torso opening. One more breath in. And out. Using one breath to walk back towards the center. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly walk towards the right hand side. Push yourself up. Pull the belly button in towards the spine. And 
put it onto the right thigh, stretches the hands out. Push your left sitting bone down more, our left hands reaches further away to feel the left torso opening. Deeply in for two, three, four. Stay in the pose, stretch it out more for two, three, four. Challenge yourself to slow down. When you are trying to minimize the movement, you are actually slowing down your brain, slow, blocking any distraction. Slowly walking it back towards the center, then coming to tabletop position again. Knees keep with this in the part, tuck the toes. Hands are directly underneath the shoulders. You're going to draw circles with your chest, then push back to child pose. So we'll start in child pose. Inhale, bend the arms onto the mat, bring the chest forward very close to the mat, straighten the hands and look up. Exhale, curl from the upper back. Meet back, lower back, push yourself to child pose. Beautiful. Inhale, elbows on the mat, chest close to the mat. And straighten up the elbow, lift by the chin, look up. Exhale, crawl from the neck, upper back, meet back, lower back. Push your child pose, stretch out your shoulders. Inhale, bend the elbows onto the mat, chest very close to the mat, and slowly come it up. Exhale, slowly come to child pose. Slow down the movement. Try to do the movement for five breaths on your own count. Deepen your inhale. And deepen your exhale. Slow down the movement. Remember your intention, the one thing that you want to slow down on. Think about that one thing. And imagining you're watering that one thing with a slowing down potion when you are on the mat, trying to slow down your movement. Last deep breath in for five, two, three, four, five. Exhale for two, three, Four, five, great job. Coming back towards the center in tabletop position again, we're going to draw circles for, to warm up our wrists. So drawing circles one way, slowing it down, feeling every single part of your wrist stretching. Deepening your inhale. Use one breath to draw the circle, slowing it down. And exhale, changing the direction. One more in. And out. Coming back to what's the center. Turn the fingers outside. Away from each other, then start drawing circles. You can also bring your neck in if you want. Deeply inhale, but focus on the wrist. Slow down the movement. Draw really big circles. Changing the direction in and out. 
Point the fingers towards each other, meet fingers touch. Draw circles one way. Draw circles the other way. Now point the fingers towards ourselves. Draw circles in one direction. Slow down your circles. Use the whole one breath to draw one big circle. Notice when you have slowed down the pace, changing direction, your movement will slowly slow down. Whenever you feel that you're going too fast, count the breath to five. So you exhale for five. Slowly come to the elbows, forearm onto the mat, stretch yourself. Our legs, knees, hip width is in the park. Stretch the left leg out or any leg out. Bring our uh, toes onto the mat, push your heels away, feeling the hamstring opening and calf opening. You're welcome to go back and forth or rotate your ankles when you're doing it. But slow down the movement, deepening the inhale and deepening the exhale. Bend the left knee, draw circles with your ankle in and out. Stretches the legs straight and draw circles with your hips. So draw circles with your feet so you're opening up the hips. You could be a whole leg straight or bend and straighten, bend and straighten. Coming towards the other side. Push the other leg straight. Toes onto the mat, heels away. Deepening your inhale. And deepening the exhale. You're also welcome to rock back and forward. Just slow down the movement. Then bend the knees, drawing circles with your ankle deeply in. And deeply out, stretches out the legs, draw circles with your feet. You could bend and straighten the knees to feel the hips opening. One more in. And out. For the next three breaths, do anything that makes you feel good before our vinyasa flow. Stretch out any body parts that you want to or come join me in child pose. Whenever you are, inhale for two, three, four, five. Exhale for two, three, four, five. Deeply in. And deeply out. One last in. And out. Slowly, gently, using one breath to walk your body up. We are coming to top of the mat to start our vinyasa flow. You will be asked to move very slowly. Top of to top of the mat. Getting ready to flow. Grab the butt cheek in like you're holding a paper in between. Belly in strong core, roll the shoulders towards the ears and open, look forward. When you are ready, inhale, hands up towards the ceiling. Palms touch. 
legs are hinges from the hips. Spray your hands past the heart and coming down. Inhale, hands onto the shin, halfway left, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bend your knees, belly onto your thighs, move forward, fold. Walk your feet hip width distance apart. Inhale, step the right leg back. Exhale, right knee onto the mat, untuck the toes. Inhale, hands up, open up the chest. Exhale, cactus the arms to find new space on the heart. Inhale, hands up towards the ceiling. Exhale, plant the hands in front of the mat. Tuck the right toes up. Inhale, step back to plank. Exhale, shoulders coming a bit forward and knee, chest, and chin. Inhale to cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes to downward facing dog for three breaths. Challenge yourself to be in stillness. Uh, if you choose movement, slow it down. Deeply inhale for two, three, four, five. Exhale for two, three, four, five. Push your thighs back more. Use your upper body. Yes, good adjustment, Maria. Deeply inhale. Everyone push your thighs back, lift the hips up and then drop the heels. One more in. And out, slow motion. Look towards your hands, step the right feet forward to low lunge. Then exhale, step the left feet forward, for forward, fold. Inhale, hands onto the shin, halfway left. Exhale, forward, fold, bend the knees, belly towards the thighs. And slowly rolling your front of breath, right front of breath. Inhale, hands up, touching the sky. Gathering this calming energy and exhale, hands towards your heart in prayer position. Second time, inhale, hands up towards the sky. Exhale, hinges from the hips coming forward. Inhale, hands onto the shin, halfway left. Exhale, bend your knees, belly towards the thighs to forward fold. Walk your feet hip with this in the pot. Inhale, step the left feet back to low lunge. Exhale, left knee onto the mat, untuck the toes. Inhale, raise your hands up towards the sky. Exhale, cactus the arms open up the chest and look up. Inhale, hands up back to original. Exhale, hands onto the mat. Tuck the left knee up. Inhale to plank. Shoulders coming a bit forward. Exhale to knee, chest, and chin. Bear your hips up when you do hip knees, chest, and chin. Inhale to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, push your hands back to downward facing dog. Deeply and slow down the breath. Really being in the pose, open up the fingers, push your back straight, lift your hips up, thighs back. Shake your head no to any tension in the body. 
shake your head and yes for building this new space and slowing down one more again and out look towards your hand inhale step the left feet forward low lunge and exhale step the right feet forward Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to forward fold. Slowly raise up vertebra by vertebra. Inhale, hands up towards the ceiling. Exhale, palms in front of your heart. Round three. Inhale, hands up towards the sky, open up the chest. Exhale, hinges from the hips coming forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Hands onto the mat, slow it down, step back to plank. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga on the chest, chin, slow it down. Use your core. Inhale to upward dog. Open up the chest and the belly. Exhale, tuck the toes, push it back to downward facing dog. Deeply inhale. Lengthen the shoulders, strong hands, push your hips up. Then now push your thighs back, push your heels down. Feeling a really good triangle with strong limbs. Deepening your inhale. And deepening your exhale. Let's build some heat in our body. Inhale, lift the right leg up slowly to swing like a dog and holding it down. Lengthen the right toes up, left heels down. Now inhale, coming to Spider-Man crunch, bend the knees, right knee towards the chest, coming to plank. Inhale, hold, use your core. Exhale, slow motion, bring the right feet back up. Inhale, slow motion, right knee towards the right elbow. Exhale, slow motion, bringing it back up. Inhale, slow motion, right knee towards left elbow. Great job, girls. Exhale, slow motion, stretching it out. Coming to downward dog again, inhale. Exhale, come to any form of child pose. Enjoying the effect of a slow ab short workout. How does it feel when you're not swinging your legs up and down in a very fast and dynamic way? It's way more challenging to actually slow it down, use your core to hold yourself and hold the pose. But you have all just do it. When you think it's difficult to slow down in life, it's just an illusion that your brain is telling you. You have the ability to hold yourself and slow it down. And when you're ready, slow motion, coming back to downward dog, we're going to the other side, slowly pushing back to downward dog. Inhale, left leg up, slow motion, stretch your left feet up, lower down your right heel and breathe up. Spider-Man crunch, inhale, slow motion, left knee towards the chest to plant strong arms. 
Exhale, slow motion, bring the left leg up. Inhale, slow motion, left knee towards left elbow. Exhale, slow motion, stretching it up, left toes towards the sky. Inhale, slow motion, right, left knee towards right elbow. Exhale, slow motion, bringing it back up. Lower down the leg to downward dog. In the next three breaths, either hold in downward dog or child pose. Listen to your body. One of the common barrier of slowing it down is our ego. It's all the saying that, oh, I should be doing this. Oh, I should be doing that. Or someone has already done A, B, and C. Don't listen to your ego, listen to your body. Take a pose that you want. In order to slow it down, we have to say goodbye to this external distraction or external comparison. Last breath. And when you exhale, come back to downward dog if you're not there. Deeply exhale. Looking onto your hands, can you slow motion, jump forward, inhale. Exhale, forward, forward. Slowly roll up vertebra by vertebra. Inhale, hands up, arms touch. Exhale, prayer hand in front of your heart. One more round. We're coming to balancing pose for dancer. You can stay front or you can look at the camera. It doesn't really matter. We are going to have a what so hand. So right, uh, let's do with the left. Left hand on the side like oh so what? Then bend the left knee. Using the hands to grab hold of the inside of the feet. Then after you grab hold of it, both knees together again. Then inhale, left hand, right hand up. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen the torso. Exhale, slowly coming forward and kick the leg up, 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 up. Look at your front of the hands. Deeply in. Stretch out your thighs and deeply out. Slowly coming back in control. Knees touch, hands up. And lower the left leg, shake it up. Great job. The other side, so what? Hand onto the right. Bend the, to, in order to be more stable, put your left hands onto your waist. So you're using your core. So what hand on your right, bend your right knee. From the inside, grab hold of the feet. Stretch as the left up, inhale. It's something about kicking the leg up first. Kick, 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 kick. And lower the hands down. Deeply in. And deeply out. Coming back towards the center. Going for one more set, going it on your own pace. So what hand, grab the feet, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, stretch and see if you can hold for three breaths. Deeply in. And deeply out. Notice when you slow down your breath. You slow down your mind and you're being able to concentrate and focus and hold the pose slowly coming back. If you fall out, just go back to it. Shake out your legs. One of the enemy of slowing down, it's like, oh, I can't do it. No, you can. Just trust your body. On to the last side. So what hand, grab the feet. Lengthen the other hands and kick up, 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 up for three breaths. Look forward. Use your core. Feel the stillness. One more in. And out. Coming back towards the center. Beautiful. Shake up the leg. Be in stillness in front of the mat. 
How do you feel when you're in a balancing position just now? Our challenge is to slow it down. Just like your Spider-Man crunch, the more you slow it down, the more you activate all this micro muscle to hold you, knowing that you have the ability, you can slow down. Last vinyasa flow. Inhale, hands up towards the ceiling. Exhale, hinges from the hips coming forward. Can we do the slowest round? Inhale, hands onto the shin, halfway left for two, three, four, five. Exhale, forward fold for two, three, four, Hands onto the mat, step back to plank for two, three, four, five. Exhale, chaturanga on each chest chin for two, three, four, five. Inhale, upward dog for two, three, four, five. Exhale, tuck your toes, push back to your last downward facing dog for two, Three, four, five. Two more breaths here. Deeply in. And deeply out. Deeply in. And deeply out. Look at your hands. We are coming to a squat. Slowly walk your feet or jump your feet forward. Sit your heels down, elbows onto the knees and come to a squat. Deepening your inhale. And deepening the exhale. Deeply in. And deeply out. One more in. And out. You could just slowly sit down or challenge yourself to come to bow pose for three breaths. So sit your hips down, straight legs up, straight hands for two, three, four, five. Second breath in. Lengthen the lower back and out. One last breath in. Straight, 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 straight. Good job, and now bend your knees. Come to butterfly. So bend your knee, uh, feet together, open up your knees towards the side. Come to butterfly. Grab the butt cheek away, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hinges forward for 10%. Deeply in. And deeply out. Slowly coming up. We are going to flex our toes, bend our knees. My knees is hip with this and apart. Then I'm going to grab a V, like a, I'm taking a picture of V. Good, to, uh, two fingers together, bend it like a hook. Yeah, to, yes, hook your big toes, flex your toes. Then we're going to look forward, inhale, lengthen the spine. Get the lower back really straight. Exhale, try to push your feet further away, but your belly is on your thighs. Your belly is on your thighs, your lower back straight. Push, 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 push. When you are in the maximum, you don't have to be very long. Lengthen your back and exhale, coming 10 degrees forward. Feeling your hamstring opening. Two more breaths. 
deeply. Inhale for two, three, four. Exhale for two, three, four. Pushing your feet forward even more for one last pose. Deeply inhale. Good job, keeping your lower back straight. And exhale. Now still keeping on the same pose, bend the elbows, get the head in between the knees for one last breath. In. And out, slowly relax the fingers, relax the toes, shake it off. Bend your knees, hands onto the back, windscreen right and left. And right, left, and right. We're going to do um, thighs opening pose. You may want to get your mat in, um, flip your mat and have double padding on your knees. Coming to your knees, kneeling on the mat. Knees roughly hip width distance apart, maybe a bit smaller. Actually, keep the knees together, feet away. Or knees like slightly apart, really depending on the flexibility you could block. Then what you want to do is use your hands to roll the thighs up, roll the thighs up and sit down. So after I sit down, my knees is not together, but I don't really have gaps in between the thighs. Then walk your hands back. You should feel your thighs stretching up. If you want to feel more, wait one second. Check your feet. Your feet is not directly underneath your hips. Your feet is on the side. So if you are directly underneath your hips, you need to come up. Bring the feet out slightly bit. Rolling the calf out and then sit down. Yes, great adjustment. Then hands back, stretch out your thighs. You could be on your hands. If you want to, you could be on your elbows. Deeply inhale. Remember to listen to your body, not your ego. Deeply exhale for two, three, four. Two more breath in. And out. One more breath in. And out. Slowly walk yourself back up. Straighten up the legs. Wiggle it out a bit before our next pose. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. This shift feels really good for your thighs. If you have been walking a lot. Now, before the next pose, grab the butt cheek away. Just very simple. Tadasana, sit up tall and straight. Flex the feet when you inhale. Lift the heels up. Pull on the feet. Inhale, flex the feet. Lift the heels off. Really point the toes towards you. Exhale, straighten. One more inhale, flex. Exhale, straighten. Shake it out. To camel pose, to stretch out our back. So still be on uh, this time on uh, hip width distance apart. Tuck your toes. The trick to be more stable, it's actually, if you look at my fingers, a lot of people use fingers sideways. The better protection for your back is have your fingers straight like high five, and you put the high five on the lower back. The reason why is because your hands can bend this way, not the side. When your hands can bend this way, you feel fully supported. You are also not just stretching your back, you're also opening up the shoulders when you do it like this. So hands in high five position, Put it onto the back. I know it feels uncomfortable or unnatural for the first time, but you'll get there. So inhale, open up the chest, look up. Exhale, push your pelvis forward, 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 and slowly come down. Holding it there. Elbows in the back together as much as you can. So it's not only a hip and back opening, but also a chest opening. Deeply inhale for two, Three, four, five. Exhale for two, three, four, five. Slowly coming it down, up. Sit back in child pose for three breaths before the next one. You could have your knees together, hands onto the side. 
recovering from the pulse, deepening the inhale, and deepening the exhale. Slowly coming up to round two, knees, hip width this and apart, tuck the toes so you're more supported. Hands in high five, fingers pointing up towards the shoulder blades. Elbows together now, open up the chest. Then inhale, push your pelvis forward, 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 and look up. Three breath, deeply in. And deeply out. Deeply in. And deeply out. You're welcome to hold one more breath and slowly come down. Listen to your body. Slowly, everyone, slowly coming up. Sitting in child pose, knees together, feet together. Head onto the floor and relax the hands. Feeling your hips and your lower back relaxing. Slowly coming back up. One last pause before Safasana, our spinal twist. Lie flat onto the mat. Coming to a simple version of it. Flex the left leg, left leg, keep it straight. Bend the right knee, hug the right knee onto the chest. Using your left hand to bring the right knee over, right hand straight up at 3 p.m. Your right shoulders do not lift the mat. In this way, you're actually getting a deeper twist from the top of the shoulders to the mid back, to the lower back and the hips. If you lift the shoulders, then your stretch will only be on the lower back. So keep the right shoulders on the mat as much as you can. You could hold your right knee with the right hand so it doesn't have to touch the mat. Twist deeper with right shoulders onto the mat. Deepening your inhale for two, three, Four, five, exhale for two, three, four, five, three more breath. Relax the belly. Slowly rolling back towards the center onto the other side. Right leg straight, flex it. Bring the left knee towards the chest. Give it a hug. Left hand at 9 p.m. and the shoulders stick to the mat. Do not leave it. Then using your right hand to bring the left knee across. Look towards your left fingers. When you have your left shoulder sticking onto the mat, you have a deeper degree of the whole spinal twist, not just the lower back. Deepening your inhale. And deepening your exhale. Deeply in. And deeply out. One more in and out. Slowly rolling back towards the center. Do any pose that you need before Savasana. Whatever that your body is telling you. It could be happy baby, could be straighten the legs, anything that you want to do for two more breaths, in and out, 
in and out. Coming to Savasana. Make sure you're warm. Closing the eyes, straightening the legs, your body. Completely relax onto the mat. Relax your head. Relax your eyebrow. Relax your jaw. Relax your upper back. Relax your shoulders, upper arm, elbows, forearm, wrists, and ten toes. Relax your upper back, mid back, lower back. Relax your lower back more. Relax your hips, your thighs, your knees, your calf, your ankle and ten toes. Completely relax every part of your body. Savasana. Slowly coming back to the room. Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your toes. Interlace the hands overhead. Give yourself a big, big stretch. Bend your knees towards the chest and roll towards the right hand side. With minimal movement and being as much stillness, push yourself into a sitting position and hands onto the knees, sitting straight. Feeling the power of slowing it down. Inhale. And deep exhale. Deep inhale. Deep, long exhale. One last deep inhale. And exhale. With the eyes closed, we're going to sing one Om and three Shanti to end the class. Deep inhale into the bum. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Hands in prayer position in front of our heart. May our heart be filled with stillness, peacefulness, and the power to slow it down. Bowing forward. Namaste. Namaste.